You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. ever tried to reach success only to keep falling down again and again? Welcome to Energetic Magic with your host, Shiraz. Shiraz is here to discuss the different ways our belief systems and the stories we tell ourselves create the reality we live in. Listen as Shiraz removes your limiting beliefs and changes your reality. So now, please welcome the host of Energetic Magic, Shiraz. Welcome to Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. I am Shiraz, and this week we are talking about family values. So um, we've we've heard the term, and a lot of times we live by family values, but a lot, uh, much more of the time we don't realize that we are continuing to live by family values long after we've left the family or uh, set out on a different path from the family, and uh, those unconscious beliefs that they're affecting our whole lives. So we're going to look into more of that on the show. Oh, wow. Okay. And the audience was starting to react again. So as always, if you have some limiting beliefs, blocks, things you want to talk about, the number to call is 1-866-451-1451. And for those of you new to the show, I am an energy facilitator and a belief shifter. And I help you to discover those unconscious beliefs that are keeping you from having the life that you'd love to have. So growing up and uh, I discovered that our beliefs create our reality. And if you truly believe something, that's what shows up in your life. But you have to believe that at that subconscious level. And oftentimes what we say we believe doesn't match what we actually believe. So during the show, I will have conversations with people that call in, and when I talk to them, I can tell when the conscious beliefs and subconscious beliefs do not match. When they do, we know there's a lie, so then we dig down and find out what that belief is. When we get the belief, I'll ask, are you willing to destroy that belief? If you say yes and you mean it, then the belief gets destroyed in that moment and things start to change for you. Whatever also happens in that moment is as the energy shifts, my body reacts like it's trying to do right now, but I'm trying to get this out before I let it all go. And I tend to yawn and cough as energy shifts around me. So I pick it up from the audience. I pick it up from the people that call in. And uh, we're just going to do one right now. (coughs) Okay. And uh, people can react just from the topic and people can react before I actually get to the clearings because the other thing I've realized is time and space are illusions. So oftentimes people can get cleared before I ask them what the clearing is. And uh, it's it's kind of fun and funky, the, the things that will show up in these shows and when I do workshops and things. So I may also ask, are you willing to step out of the story? So a story is a repeated pattern in your life. You see it happening over and over again, and you love to talk about it like that story happened to me again. It may not be a good story, but when you get to talk about it and be right about it over and over again, there's a little jolt that we get at a subconscious level that's, that's, yay, I'm right again. My life sucks. Yay, I'm right again. And uh, we perpetuate these stories. So if I notice there's a story, I'm going to ask you to step out of it. Again, you say yes. You step out of the story. But the big thing here is you have to mean it. Each time you have to mean it, if you just say yes and you you just are like saying it for the sake of saying it, hoping that'll change things, it's not going to change anything. The big thing with energetic magic is that decision that this needs to change now. I'm going to change this now. That's what where the power comes from. That's where the change comes from. So it's funny because I I was talking uh, with a client recently. And they were saying, Shiraz, just cough so this goes away. And I'm like, it's not that I cough and then it goes away. It's that it goes away. And as it goes away, I cough. So 
stop trying to give me the power. You guys have the power. I'm just showing you that it's working for you. I'm just guiding you to releasing those beliefs and changing your lives for yourself. Because I don't want you guys to be dependent on me. I want you guys to be empowered and start changing the beliefs even when you're not listening to the show. So wouldn't that be fun if you could just in your daily life say, you know what? I'm done with this belief. Destroyed. Done with this story. Stepping out. And uh, you can, you know, just as a segue, you can learn to do that energetic, uh, magic level one class. Uh, but this is how the whole thing got started. It was me in a story that I'm responsible for everyone in my life. And that put me in a state of arthritis. And once I realized that that's what was causing the arthritis, I just made that decision, that hardcore decision. I'm done with this. I'm not going to be responsible for anyone else in my life. The next morning, there was no arthritis. So it's not about having this magic, you know, it is magic, but it's not about having that innate magic divine gift that only some few people on the planet are born with. Anyone can do this. It is a decision to change your life. And on the show, I'm just going to help guide you guys so you can start changing your lives. So... I think that's uh, it. Oh, and when I work on anyone that calls in or even when I just send a, a clearing out into the void because uh, no one happens to be calling at the time, it, it's going to work on anyone that says yes to it that's listening to this call. And it doesn't even matter if you're listening to it live or listening to the replay. Say yes when we clear the beliefs and notice the shifts that occur. So uh, family values. This is a cool one because there are the values that are obvious in our families, because you'll hear your parents saying them, like money doesn't grow on trees and you've got to work hard to get by in life. But there are also the values where you just make assumptions uh, based on what's going on and what, what you're hearing. So I had made a huge assumption in my life and I was just talking about this at a workshop last night. So growing up, uh, my dad was a doctor, my, my mother was a nurse, and uh, a bunch of the uncles are doctors, all the friends are doctors. And so that was just the environment that we grew up in. And I was a really good student. I was getting good marks. People were saying, wow, Shiraz is really smart. He's going to be the next family doctor. And so that's what I heard over and over again. And that's one of those values that got drilled into me. You're going to become a doctor when you grow up. You're the next family doctor. And so that really shaped my direction and who, who I was going to be as I, I got through high school. And then when I was making a decision on to go to university, you know, when I was young, I was loved computers and I immediately learned how to program and you know, of course I love the computer games and I could do so many cool things on the computers but as much as I wanted to go into computers I was supposed to be the next family doctor and in my final year of high school I was looking at all the different ways I could go into university and study to be a doctor but I didn't want to be an MD I wanted to do something else because MD is really not not aligning with who I am. But I started uh, learning genetics in, uh, uh, in biology, and I thought, this is kind of cool. This is something I could do. So I applied for molecular genetics in university. And uh, going from being an A student in high school to being a C and D student in university really hurt. And... I continued with it. I pushed through because I had to be the next doctor in the family and I was going to get a doctor in genetics and doctorate, I guess, in genetics. <laughs> and after three years, I couldn't do it anymore. I just like, no, this is not what I want to do with my life. I know I'm supposed to be the next family doctor, but I can't do this. And I dropped out of university and I decided I wanted to enroll in college uh, in a computer program. And I told my dad and I said, look, dad, I can't do this. I've got to I could get out. And he goes, what do you want to do? I said, computers. And he looks at me and goes, oh, thank God. And I'm like, what do you mean, thank God? And he said, well, you've always been great at computers. You love computers. So I didn't know why you wanted to go into genetics. And I said, well, I, I thought you guys want to be the next family doctor. And he goes, no, I just want you to be happy. And it just sort of hit me. What had I been doing all my life? And we'll talk a little bit more about that when we come back from the break. So this is Shiraz on Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. We'll be right back. 
Did you know that your beliefs create your entire reality? But it's the subconscious beliefs that do most of the creating. Belief Shifter and Life Coach Shiraz can help you identify those limiting beliefs and eliminate them, often in a single session. Like it was almost instant, like... I had relief right away. Creating better health, relationships, careers, and finances. Let Shiraz help you step out of safety and into awareness. Definitely something's happening. Uh, It's like a a flow inside. You know, it feels good. Whether in person or online, Shiraz provides personal coaching, belief shifting. Visit Shiraz at energeticmagic.com or call 416-529-7429. Energetic Magic on On the BBM Global Network, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Find your greater happiness. Be well. Be aware. Be magical. Jenny Friend is a licensed marriage and family therapist and a certified clinical sexologist, commonly known as a sex therapist, with over 30 years of experience in the field of sexuality. She's been a researcher and teacher and is further trained in human development over the lifespan. She's also a published author and a radio personality. Her specialized training in lifespan developments means she can help individuals, couples, and families through difficult developmental phases. Her primary ways of working are through the tools of cognitive, behavioral, and psychoenergetics theories and techniques. Couples, individual men and women, and families are also welcome. She can meet in her office in Costa Mesa, California, or on the Internet through Skype at Jenny Friend MFT. Call 714-210-9200. You can also send an email from her website at www.centerforclarity.org. That phone number again is 714-210-9200. Welcome back to Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. I'm Shiraz, and we're talking about family values. So before the commercial, I was talking about how I was trying to be a family doctor, and I finally said, no, I'm going to do computers. And then my dad was like, yep. That's great. That's what I, I thought you should do. And what was interesting is when he told me that, I sort of flashed back through my life and all the, he's going to be the next family doctor. This is Shiraz. Shiraz, the next family doctor. My dad never once said that. It was all the uncles, the aunts. It was the rest of the family. But in my family, my parents had never expected me to be a doctor. They just wanted me to be happy. They just wanted me to do what I wanted to do. But I created this reality and this belief based on what was coming in and how many values, how many beliefs you're creating that are coming from a misinterpretation of what people are saying from seeing things from a certain angle. And that's not really how things are. Ooh, that's hitting a few people. So again, if you want to work on some blocks of limiting beliefs, the number to call is 1-866-451-1451. And when you are willing to go against the the family values, the family beliefs, uh, if they're if they're limiting, then you can create all sorts of wonderful things. If if they're not limiting, you don't have to get rid of them. But uh, I went through quite a few things where my family sort of looked at me and thought I was crazy as I was going through life. And I don't know why, I guess part of me is that that rebel that's when people say you can't do that, that's exactly what I want to do. And uh, that happened a lot when I was at work. People would give me a technical thing and say, yeah, it's impossible. No one can pull that off. And in my brain, it would always go challenge accepted. And somehow I would manage to pull these things off. And uh, I just love that challenge. So this, though, did affect how my family viewed me and and the kind of things I did. So when I was, okay, some people are reacting there. Okay, uh, I think we need to do a clearing right here. So are you willing to destroy the belief that if you don't, align with all your family's values, you will no longer be part of the family. (coughs) (coughs) Okay. And yeah, so this is another example of how you don't have to align. So when 
I got into college and I started doing the computers, I absolutely loved it. And when I graduated, I found out, you know, basically like the week before I was leaving the college and graduating, that they were doing an exchange program to Japan in about a year. And it was the next class that was just starting was going to go there. And I graduated, I got a job at Oracle straight out of college because I did a a co-op work term there to start. So I just slid into the, the role and uh, I, but I wanted to go to Japan. I'd been going, wanting to go to Japan since I was 12 years old. And now, oh my God, here's the opportunity. So I told my prof I was going with that class to Japan. And he's like, you just graduated. They're just starting. You're not going with them. I said, no, no, I'm going. And I sort of already made a reputation for myself at that school. And he said, okay, you know, if it was anyone else, I would tell them they're crazy, but it's you. You've pulled off all this crap. So, yes, you can go, but we're not going to pay for you. I said, well, I've got a job. I'll pay for myself. And you have to know this much Japanese. I said, I will go to night school. I will learn Japanese. I said, okay, well, we're going to stay in touch and we will get you on that uh, co-op term. And so I said, great. And it was going to take place in a year. So here I am a year at my company and I'm already telling my family at the end of the year, I'm quitting. I'm going to Japan. And of course, they're looking at me going, you just got a full time job at a major corporation, full benefits package. You're getting paid good money and you're telling us you're going to quit after a year. And so there were arguments about that. Right? What are you, are you crazy? Why would you do this? Um, because there's a certain reality people live by, which was, you know, good job stability. Right. And I function more from adventure, playfulness, let's see what we can do. And this is something, you know, this is something I wanted to do since I was 12. And now I had a vehicle I could do it with. And yes, there could have been another vehicle, work your ass off, save up, go do the trip. But this, this just pulled to me. This is where source was always just sort of giving me little nudges. Let's do this. Let's do this. So I, a year later, I, I, quit my job and I went over to Japan and it was a four month work term. And uh, because I didn't have to go back to school, I managed to extend that to a six month work term. I had the most amazing time of my life to date. Um, it was like to that date, things have gotten better since then. But uh, then I came back and, uh, and of course from the family and, you know, and from friends too, what are you going to do now? You, you had that job, you quit it to go to, on a trip. Um, you know, that's, you know, people are going to look at that in when hiring you and they're going to say, well, or is he just going to quit to go on another trip? So I said, you know what, I, I'm in this great mood. I'm, I'm in this great energy. Let's just see what happens. And my old boss, uh, who I'd become friends with while I was working, he said, oh, you're back. Let's go out to lunch. Let's have, let's talk about it. I want to hear all about the trip. So we did that. And during lunch, she's like, you know, how would you like your old job back with a raise and a promotion? I went, Yes, yes, I would like that. And so then that just happened. And everyone sort of looked at me, what just happened here? This is not how things work. But when you're functioning from this place of magic, when you're just looking for what's going to give you joy, when you're open to these new possibilities, things line up. Now, if I had stuck with what the family and the friends and you know, several people were saying, do the, do the responsible thing, the right thing, the stable thing, the safe thing. I would have still been working at Oracle and I would have done well and probably have gotten that raise in promotion by that time, but I would have missed out the whole Japan adventure. I think things worked out really well. So whew, these are the kind of changes you can make in your life. And it doesn't mean you love your family any less. You, I still love my family. I still got along with my family. They just sort of looked at me and go, we need He's kind of weird and he pulls off these things and they still think I'm weird, but now they're used to the weirdness. Now, what happens when your family starts to get used to your weirdness? What, what happens it when instead of being who you think they expect you to be, they just start to accept you for who you actually are? What kind of life would that look like for you? Ooh, that's causing some shifts. <coughs> So are you willing to destroy the belief that you need to be what your parents expect you to be? <coughs> Good. Things are shifting out there. So 
So, and I've seen this pattern show up again and again with client after client. And it's amazing how much stuff that people think are business problems or personal relationship problems, money problems that are actually family problems. And it's about what the family decides, how much money they can make. Like some, there are families out there. It's like, well, you know, our family's never had money. We just, we're just not that type of family. And if you buy that, what do you think is going to happen to you? You know, when you grow up in an environment where there is lack, you seem to think that that's where you need to exist. Some people manage to change their realities and get out of it, but a lot of people just continue. Ooh, and we'll talk a little bit more, well, actually, probably a lot more about that after the break. So this is Shiraz on Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, iHeart and TuneIn Radio, and we'll be right back. Intergenerational programming is uniting America due to the tireless efforts of Dr. Ramona Frischman. Retired from the Miami-Dade County Public School System, Dr. Frischman continues to develop intergenerational learning programs aimed to improve the lives of children, young adults, and seniors through unique strategies and public policy in order to establish a mutually supportive agenda. She views intergenerational programs as a resource for policymakers and the general public on economic, social, and personal initiatives that govern our society. Her work bridges the generational gap, providing many individuals the opportunity to explore areas of common ground and celebrate each other's diversity. Contact Ramona Frischman at RamonaLong at AOL.com or visit www.gu.org to learn more about intergenerational programming. Welcome back to Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. I am Shiraz, and we're talking about family values, and we have a caller. Will, what's going on? Hi. Um, yeah, just the, the last thing you said got me a little distracted, but I thought I would work on or wanted to clear on something that I, I don't normally clear on. It's always the last on my list, but it really annoys my life. And I realized as you were talking that it is a family values thing. So my aunt and my mom my other aunt, actually, all have had chronic health things. They're really sensitive to foods, and they're constantly doing different things, and they're just, one of them is a hypochondriac and all that stuff. And I have definitely inherited some of that. And it started out simple. It was just things like, you know, at a certain point couldn't have peanuts because they didn't agree with my digestion, and then it was dairy, and then it was, but now I'm at this point in my life where it's like, there's so many things that I can't have or that, that really annoy me. And the, and the most recent one was rather major. I had this mushroom coffee that's supposed to be really healthy. I thought that'd be a great alternative to coffee in the mornings to have a bit of a mental pick me up. And I had it and oh my God, the whole, I didn't get any pick me up, no energy. I just felt horrible the whole day. Couldn't focus, couldn't think. And then today has been a continuation of that, like exhausted, can barely function, can barely keep my concentration or focus. And I'm pretty sure it's because of that mushroom coffee that's supposed to be really healthy. And it's just like, okay, this is enough. <laughs> this is getting okay. ridiculous. Yeah. Well, first of all, mushroom coffee sounds disgusting, but that's just me. I guess I'd have to try it. Uh, but, whew, okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, do you, wow, do you have to find more and more things that don't agree with your body? Uh, yeah, I think I'm I'm on that hunt a bit because when I was a kid, dairy and processed um, cereals and sugars and stuff, I didn't know, but they were really affecting me. And when I found that out and I felt a million times better, I was like, oh, oh. okay, well, what else could I be eating that's not good for me so partly on the practical it's like yes i'm on a bit of a hunt to find out what's opti- what is optimal living for my body but i think it's now gone to like silly places okay so are you willing to destroy the belief that you have to keep finding things to eliminate from your diet Oddly, that's a bit of a no, because I guess the thought is like, well, what if they really don't agree with me? So if 
If they don't agree with you, then you notice they don't agree with you and then you stop having them. But if you continue to say, OK, I got to find something and I've got to find something, I've got to find something, you'll even start to create things just so you have that satisfaction of finding those things. So, OK, so there's a yep. there's a. Yep. OK, so are you willing to destroy that belief? Yes. <laughs> there's another Again, little family, twisted belief. Family. Okay, go for it. Yeah. It's another little twisted belief in there. Are you willing to destroy the belief that the more things you eliminate from your diet, the healthier you will become? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ooh, wow, there's a lot of energy on that. So is that entirely yours? No. Yeah. So are you willing to step out of your family story that you have to keep eliminating things from your diet so you can become healthier? Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's also, it mm -hmm. now that you say that, it isn't just my aunt, the one that I was thinking of, because there's like these family stories that run around like, you know, when the blood type diet first became a thing and my aunt got on that and then everyone starts talking about that and then even my uncles who like don't really, but then they start talking about it. And then there's just these colloquial things like, oh, you should never, you know, like the one, like never go outside uh, with a wet head, I'm like, but it's summer. I'm like, oh, no, you just still shouldn't do it. It's like, that's not the point of that story. So there's like a thousand of those things circulating and it was like, then it was colonics and then it was this and then it was like, Oh my God, guys, <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> so, are you, ooh, wow, okay. So every time your family comes up with a new rule on health and diet, do you have to try it out and try to integrate it? Not theirs, necessarily, mm -hmm. but... Mm -hmm. um, I am definitely on, and the good and the bad, like I'm on that path, but it's mm -hmm. led to incredible health. Like I have products in my diet and have for years that have done incredible things and I've cut out other things that people thought that's ridiculous, but then science catches up and says that they are bad. So like that's yep. the benefit, but I am on this eternal hunt. But it's, no, I wouldn't yeah. say I have to adopt theirs because I don't do colonics. <laughs> yeah. Constant enemas. <laughs> okay. So... Oof. So there's this uh, thing that if you keep looking for something, you will find it. Yep. All right. And, and especially with uh, with law of attraction, you know, you're focused on, you're focused on, you're going to attract it and or you're going to create it. So if you can just be if you can just be without the hunt and if things show up, you say, OK, I realize I'm not supposed to have that. Other things, ooh, I can have lots of this because this is good. Well, then that's much easier than, OK, what's the next thing I've got to look for? So, ooh, there we go. <laughs> OK. So are you willing to step out of all of your family stories about health and diet and illness? That's my dog yeah. coughs. <laughs> okay, how's that feel? Not better or worse, just the same. Are you willing to step out of the stories and conditions you've created for yourself that you didn't need to actually create? Yes. <laughs> okay, we'll see how that does when we come back from the break. This is Shiraz on Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio, and we'll be right back. Introducing BetterHomeAndGarden.com. 
That's www.betterhomeandgarden.com with just the letter N in Better Home and Garden. Betterhomeandgarden.com offers you the highest quality products on the market that are environmentally safe and effective and to make them available to you at the lowest possible prices. Betterhomeandgarden.com understands that kind of creativity and do-it-yourself attitude. Thus, we developed our website, betterhomeandgarden.com. Betterhomeandgarden.com offers you the following products right online. Bath, bedding, collectibles, craft, sewing and hobby, food and beverage, furniture, home decor, kitchen and dining, lamps and lighting, large appliances, musical instruments, outdoor cooking, patio items, pet supplies, plant and garden, rug and floor coverings, small appliances, travel and luggage, and so much more. Better Home and Garden is an online retailer offering a wide variety of high-quality brand name merchandise at discount prices. Our service is personal and we aim to please. Visit us at www.betterhomeandgarden.com. Make your home your own. Animal lover, author, artist, and public speaker, Patricia Daly Life is a Renaissance woman in her own right. A lover of animals from a young age, Patricia lives on a farm in Virginia and has rescued neglected thoroughbred horses, keeping them or finding them safe havens. She is also a published author, and her books document real life experiences that she shares in her passionate stories, taking the reader around the world in a colorful kaleidoscope of life. An accomplished artist, Patricia Daly Life's oil paintings feature animals, portraits, stills, nature, and abstract, and she allows the brush to paint the image in an organic, natural way. A public speaker, Patricia is motivated to continually wonder about life and advocates for all of us to do the same and document our own unique history. To learn more about Patricia Daly Life, visit www.literarylady.com and www.patricialife.com or email her at pdlife at gmail.com. Welcome back to Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. I am Charles, and we're talking about family values. And before the break, we just did a clearing on will around uh, creating uh, diet issues and illnesses that he didn't need to because his family told him to. Well, not directly, but the police are there. How are you feeling now, Will? A bit better, thank you. Cool. All right. Was there anything else? No, nothing. Good, thank you. Okay, thanks for being on. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. All right, and remember that if you have any beliefs you want clear, the number to call is 1-866-451-1451. And next we have Charlotte on the line. Charlotte, how are you doing? I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, thanks for taking my call tonight. Um, the show's really good. And I was thinking at first of the fact that I am essentially, is, I, I grew up not wanting to follow, not, in, not liking a lot of the beliefs that my family had, right? So, um, you know, kind of like as opposed to feeling like, oh, they want me to do this or want me to do this, I felt kind of like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do or how I'm supposed to be really because I didn't really feel like I had that kind of, that kind of direction. Um, Mm -hmm. So I was thinking, but then when you were talking about being like a rebel and, and, and like going against that, so when I was like, Oh, well maybe that's it. But it kind of always just left me feeling like, well, what are, what are like, what are their values or whatever? And then I realized how, uh, like listening to Will talk about the things that his family was saying, like it's just all those things that I, that you, that you pick up. Um, mm-hmm. and I guess, so <clears throat> it, like, it hit me, like, oh, I guess one of the beliefs that I, I struggle with from them is or that I'm afraid of is that I'm afraid to spend money sometimes, um, mm-hmm. because I'm afraid that they, yeah, that they spent money in unwise ways. So I'm afraid, like, it's not that I won't spend money. I just, I won't buy myself something. Like, I, I struggle with it. It's like, it's definitely like, it's definitely some, an area where I realized I didn't know, I didn't realize I was picking it up from them. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I'm getting really hot just talking about it, actually. Okay. So we can look at the money thing, but there's a more general thing that's going on. Is, are you trying not to be like your family? Yeah, I think so. And in, in some ways, but also trying to, so there's like, there's, 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 there's two sides, right? Like there's the, I want to, I, 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 uh, I don't want to be like my mother, but I want to honor my grandparents, her parents' memory. Oh, that's weird, mm-hmm. but that's true. 
Okay. So I'm worried. I, yeah, I do not want to be like them, though. Like in my head, yeah, no. Like I'm, and I and I don't want people to even really know the, my family history and stuff. Okay. Like there's there's a, like a big there's a distance between me and and them. Okay. So I'm going to ask you to stop doing that. And let me explain stop it doing though. What? Trying not to be like your parents. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, but I have to be clear on this. Okay. When you're trying not to be like someone, then mm -hmm. you're not, you're not being you. You're just be, not being them. All right. Right. So, and when you're trying not, not to be yeah. like someone, right, even the, at a subconscious level, you're trying not to be like them at all. So even the good things, your subconscious is like, well, I can't be like that either because that's who they are. So I have to not be like that. So I always advise, don't try to be like someone. If there's someone that inspires you, you look at the qualities, you're like, I like that quality. I will take that quality, but don't try to be like a person. Don't try not to be like a person. Just be you. So are you willing to destroy the belief that you have to not be like your parents? Yes. <laughs> and are you willing to destroy the belief that when, if you spend money, you will start being like your parents? Yes. <laughs> oh, it's, hmm? uh, it's, it feels like um, if I spend money, they would judge it. Okay. Oh. Like they would judge that in a bad, like they would think that's a bad thing. Even though I am trying to not be like them, I guess on some subconscious level, I'm still wanting that approval. Yeah. So are you willing to destroy the belief that you need your parents' approval for the ways that you spend money? Yeah. Ow, there's resistance. <laughs> Wow. But yes, yes. Wow. Yeah, this, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Because remember, they're in their story. So if you're in a different story, they are automatically going to judge you. All right. The thing is, if you can just live your life and not care how they judge you and just be happy doing what you're doing, then you'll, you'll be fine. But if you look are affected by those judgments, you're giving them control in your life. Do you really want to do that? Um, no. Okay. Right. Right. So actually, there's a little more right. general thing, too. So are you willing to destroy the belief that you can only spend money in ways that no one will judge you the wrong way? <laughs> um, there's a bit resistance there, but um, I, I'm you know. feeling that it's like a spike going through my forehead right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, that's a big one. For, that's a that's a really big one for me. Um, mm -hmm. he, I really want to. Um, okay, I want to. Yeah, am yes. I willing to destroy the belief that? I, yes, I am. Yes, I am willing to destroy that belief. <laughs> Oof, there we go. Big, yeah. Oof, how does that feel? Uh, but different, better. Like, um, I feel hot. Uh, like in my, I feel heat actually in my spine a bit. But um, yeah, I'm really glad to identify that and destroy that belief. Yeah, definitely. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for being on. Okay. So you're seeing how the family values affect you in, in many different ways. And just that fear of being judged by your family is going to have a big impact on you. 
And we're going to talk more about this when we come back from the break. So this is Shiraz on Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio, and we shall return. Joseph A. Moylan is the owner of Ion Health, which specializes in very unique medical devices. Ion Health offers biomats, alkalife, and frequency machines. Biomats are a far infrared and negative ion emitting FDA approved medical device. With many different sizes available, you can place them on your bed, on a massage table, or on a seat in your car. It is an unobtrusive way to health. Alkalife machines are water ionizers that cleanse and raise the alkalinity of your tap water, making high alkaline water. Frequency machines utilize certain frequencies to kill viruses and bacteria. These devices are safe and effective. Coming from a health-conscious background and studying physiology at the Academy of Natural Health, Joseph A. Moylan has 15 years of experience in the health field and wants to help you live a healthy, long life. Visit www.ionhealthbiomats.weebly.com or call 765-520-2988. Don't let your health go astray. Get in touch today. WikiWags brings harmony back into your home for male dogs and their owners. Inventor and entrepreneur Linda Jangula has created the disposable doggy diaper wraps made with the male dog in mind. The built-in wicking ability prevents rashing and other potential health issues for your dog. Each wrap comes in four sizes and has dual reattachable magic tabs for easy adjustments. And each size has a 7-inch logo strip for adjustability. So they are comfortable and easy to use. No more fuss, just leave the mess to us. Whether you're in or out, your dog will be free to run about. Stop cleaning and start enjoying your home, and you can even leave your dog alone. To order your WikiWags, visit WikiWags.com, or to find out where to buy WikiWags in your town, visit MyWikiWags.com and start enjoying having man's best friend around. Welcome back to Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. I'm Shiraz, and we're talking family values. And if you have any blocks or beliefs you want to get addressed, the number to call is 1-866-451-1451. So as you've been seeing from the callers, there's uh, a lot of stuff going on. And a lot of times you don't realize it's there and it's affecting your life in such a big way. I did a workshop a while back where it was a money workshop. And one girl was talking about how she's struggling and she can only make so much money each year. I think it was around $30,000 was her limit. And uh, she's like, so what do I do? How do I, how I get more money into to my life? Because everything I'm trying isn't working. And I could see the energy of what was going on. And I said, well, are you proud of your poverty? And she lost her mind. She started screaming at me. She's like, why would you think that? I work so hard. I would never be proud of being poor because, you know, I don't want this life. And she just kept going on. And here's here's something I've found. That is, if you say something that causes that big a reaction in someone, you've hit on something. But if you're getting that big a reaction on someone, maybe you don't want to talk about that and just aggravate them anymore. So I just sort of let it go. And I said, obviously, I've made a mistake. I didn't mean to upset you. We'll just continue the workshop and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll let that go. And so I went and I started working with other people. And then about 20 minutes later, she just pipes up out of nowhere and she goes, you can be rich and miserable or you can be poor and happy. And I said, excuse me? And she said, my parents used to say that all the time when I was growing up. And I said, wow, that's interesting. Do you think that maybe hearing it over and over while you were young, it may have sunk in and become a subconscious belief? And she just went, yeah. <laughs> and that was what was there. Like you're living by these values that because you're hearing things repeated over and over, because you're in the energy of a certain thing for all that period of time, the beliefs get created, they get stuck in there, and you may consciously be in a completely different place. But those subconscious beliefs just affect you. They drag you down. They, you're looking for this result of huge amounts of money, and that goes against everything you've been taught growing up. So your subconscious is like, no, that's not what we know. That's not what's safe. That's not what's right. And so you get frustrated as to why you're not getting the results you're getting. Whew. Okay, that's it. A few people. <laughs> Whew. 
the other big thing I've seen family values uh, hit people is relationships. Because you learn relationships from your family. And if your family's relationships aren't great ones, oftentimes you end up with relationships that aren't wonderful. I, uh, what was it, last year, I think last year, uh, I got called to do a session with a family, uh, three girls and a guy. And I was really amused because I said, so I'm just going to do the whole group. And they said, no, no, we don't want to say all of our personal stuff in front of each other. So it'll be, you'll get an hour with each person. And I'm like, okay, but it might be easy to do the whole group. And the source was just sort of saying, telling me, you know, tell them to do it this way. And they're like, no, no, one at a time. I'm like, okay, you know, yeah, that's, that's what you want. That's what you get. So I went through each person and it was, um, you know, one person, I'm getting, I'm getting a divorce. Things aren't working out with, with my wife. And I said, so what's going on? And he told me what was going on and how he wasn't getting along. I said, does that relationship remind you of any other relationships in your, in your life? And so this is one of the girls and she, and she said, oh yeah, my parents, it's, it's actually a lot like my parents. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. So we did some clearings to get her out of duplicating her parents' relationship. And so I went to the next one. And she wasn't meeting anyone. And, and I said, we, we delved down and deep in she, And it turns out that she didn't want to end up in a relationship because she was afraid it would, end, it would look like her parents' relationship. So it was the same cause, but a different kind of result. And I went to the next, next uh, sister, and then I went to the brother. And every single one of them was having problems in their life either money or relationship, mostly relationship, but the money was there too, but it was all based on their parents' relationship and, and how dysfunctional that was. So we could have put them all in one group and just said, listen, stop thinking you're going to end up like your parents. Stop trying to avoid being in your parents' relationship uh, and just have your own relationships. And that's going to, that's going to shift it. And it did, it did shift for, for, for them after the session. But Oh, that's hitting a bunch of people right now. So are you willing to destroy the belief that you have to make sure you don't end up in the same relationship as your parents? <coughs> and again, like I was talking before, when you're trying to avoid ending up in the same relationship with your parents, you're not trying to create your own relationship. You're just trying to avoid that relationship. So that's why you want to stop that. Ooh. Good. So, oh, sorry, that's still shifting. <laughs> and again, coming to the the approval and disapproval from your parents. One of one of the most amusing things I had from a client was that I asked her if she was willing to go a certain way and, and create a life in a certain way. And she said, no, I can't do that. My mom would be upset. She would never forgive me. And I said, oh, how often do you talk to your mom? And she goes, oh, my mom's been dead for eight years now. And I said, oh, but despite the fact that she's not around, she won't forgive you. Therefore, you can only live your life a certain way. And she's like, yes, absolutely. And it sounds kind of crazy on the surface, but People are doing this consciously or unconsciously to make sure they have their parents' approval and the parents' family values. So are you willing to destroy the belief that you have to make decisions that will meet with your parents' approval? <laughs> Ooh. Good. All right. And oh, so now we're getting into siblings. That's interesting. We just jumped over there. 
I'm probably going to have to talk about that after the break, though. So this is Shiraz on Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, iHeart and TuneIn Radio, and we'll be right back. For over 50 years, Evelyn Stapula has been a loving advocate for people with disabilities throughout the state of Pennsylvania. President and founder of Big Heart Bridges, her organization actively campaigns for legislation and support of civil liberties that meet the needs of disabled individuals with housing, transportation, and employment. Ms. Dupula has joined forces with a variety of esteemed organizations that advocate for the disabled. She serves on the board of the United Cerebral Palsy of Pittsburgh and the Governor's Cabinet and Advisory Committee for People with Disabilities, and she is a consultant for the Pennsylvania Governor's Conference for Women. Her many efforts have led to the implementation of a transportation program for the disabled with the Access Paratransit System of Allegheny County. Evelyn Stapula strives daily to serve the interests of the disabled, to protect their freedoms, and enable them to live normal public lifestyles. To learn more, please call 412-491-2605 or email Evelyn at ers92645 at verizon.net. Did you know that your beliefs create your entire reality, but it's the subconscious beliefs that do most of the creating? Belief Shifter and Life Coach Shiraz can help you identify those limiting beliefs and eliminate them, often in a single session. Like it was almost instant, like I had relief right away. Creating better health, relationships, careers, and finances. Let Shiraz help you step out of safety and into awareness. Definitely something's happening. Uh, it's like a, a flow inside. You know, it feels good. Whether in person or online, Shiraz provides personal coaching, belief shifting. Visit Shiraz at energeticmagic.com or call 416 529 7429. Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Find your greater happiness. Be well, be aware, be magical. Welcome back to Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, iHeart and TuneIn Radio. I'm Shiraz and we've been talking about family values. And uh, as much as I've been talking about, you know, don't try to be like your parents. Don't give a crap of what people think about you. I mean, I'm not saying, you know, ignore your family and, and just, you know, don't deal with your family. Love your family. Be with your family. But be you be who you actually are and don't be who you think your family expects you to be or don't be who you feel you have to be as part of that family even as part of that culture as part of that race just be you and when you stop putting yourself in categories and boxes and putting rules around yourself then that's when you start to create a bigger, better life for yourself. And I mean, I love my family to death and, you know, I've been judged by them and, you know, I've judged them. But uh, it comes down to each of us making our own lives and then sharing that growth, supporting each other in that growth and creating whatever we can as that family. And keep in mind that family doesn't have to be biological. You can create new families for yourself. You can, If your personal family isn't supportive, if your personal family is negative, then find a new family that is supportive. And you don't have to completely abandon the old family. You just spend less time with them and spend time with the people that are going to be there to um, cheer you on, to make your life better. Uh, and if that happens to be a biolog- biological family, bonus. You know? And you can still find other people to add in. How, many t- how much... Uh, do people have other people it's like that you just include in your family that have no relation to you, but you know, you look at them and you go, well, no, they're family. So ooh, we have some stuff coming up in the next couple of months that are going to be interesting. I'm starting a program, a pilot program in May called the hard truth. And you can find information about it on, well, I don't know if you can find it on my website yet, but it will be there by the the end of the week. So www.energeticmagic.com. And uh, it's a, a pilot program. I'm only going to take uh, 10 people and uh, to see how it works. And I'm pricing it low. It's going to be probably like a third or a quarter of what the actual price is going to be later on. And in this program, I'm going to... Uh, give people the hard truth about who they're being, what they're doing, and where it sucks. <laughs> and 
if you are in ego, you will not be able to handle this program because you will feel like you're being attacked. But all I'm going to do is give you information that's coming up. If you decide to be in this program and you start to get triggered, you'll know you're an ego. So this is a good ego tester. And uh, people have showed a lot of interest. I thought this might be a little harsh for people, but uh, the more I talk about it, the more people say, yes, give me that. I need the hard truth. So you can sign up for that. Um, on my website either right now or very soon but if you go to eventbrite i know it's definitely there uh and in june we're going to do energetic magic level one on june 8th and june 9th in toronto if you can make it out this is going to be a, a great class karina is going to be co-hosting this one with me and uh, i'm looking forward to doing that and on the first of april we are starting the next 25 day program uh, i'm going to be working on uh, a group of people's energy for 25 days and the theme this month is spring cleaning we're going to be cleaning out the bad stories the negative energies the crappy beliefs uh, the stuff that you've been hanging on to that it's time to let go of that's the spring cleaning theme this month and uh Again, that'll appear soon. I'm sorry, I've been so busy lately. There's been I've been getting behind on posting things on my website. But uh, check in there, energeticmagic.com. And if you can, get on. Well, not if you can. When you go there, get on the mailing list. Because when you're on the mailing list, every time I send out an email on what's going on, I put little bonuses out there. And they, well, sometimes big bonuses. So it could be just I give you an energetic infusion, which takes like um, less than a minute. Or it could be I give you a free session, which is... Uh, a big value. I gave a two hour free workshop to people that were on the mailing list that knew to to read it and see that there was a bonus and then get onto that uh, online workshop. So that's what's uh, going on here at Jade Magic. There's going to be a few more things popping up. I am. I am available for one-on-one -on -one cons uh, consultations, so check that out too. But that's it for this month. I hope you guys had a great time, and we're going to sign off now. So this is Shiraz on Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio saying be well, be aware, and be magical. You've been listening to Energetic Magic with your host, Shiraz. What if by changing the beliefs that you don't even realize you have, you could create magic in your life? Listen each week as Shiraz will help you identify and remove those subconscious beliefs, releasing the hold they have on you, here on Energetic Magic. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.